Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Atal Santana and let's go to the third part about reflection, this time using proxy. Before we start, let's talk about what we did previously. So we create the, the annotations where we can use to define my entity, the column that we're gonna use, and we also create the append a annotation where I'm able to repeat a couple times. On our test site, we have the append as you can see here. So I'm using the NT to define the, my class to do the mapper conversion between Java to um, a map. Uh, my append to put more information that belongs to the class itself. It does not belong to the instance. Uh, and that is it. So we have the test, we have the annotations. If you want to know more about how to use reflection on overview, please check the, the, the first videos before coming here. If you are a Java developer, yes, it's a Java channel, mostly an architecture, but anyway, you are using proxy all the time. I mean, if you are using Spring, you might use in also the Spring Data where we have the repository feature. Each I can create my queries using the method. This is a good sample of proxy where I have my interface and then automatically several things happen behind. Okay. Another good sample is with CDI because with CDI a lot of things happen lazily so the weld by default has a proxy and will create this class one when it's really needed to okay so we create a, a proxy to delay the creation of this this beam let's code a little bit so i will create my interface so i will create my mapper repository where I will have two methods one is entity where I will convert to entity so give my t t uh, I have my oops I will receive my map string object and then the map another oops is supposed to be an interface so let's remove to interface and then do the opposite way right now I still have my T however I will um, use my empty here done right now i have my interfaces and what i can do is create my handler what is a handler handler class is a class who will handle everything for me so it will take the make my implementation so let's use mapper invocation handler that will implement my invocation handler as you can see here it is a class from java lane reflect it is a reflection class i received three parameters one is a proxy class then the method and then the params 
Okay. What I can do here is check my methods. For example, I want to check the name. And then I will do a switch case. So I'll check the name. And I will do it uh, easier as possible. So case empty. And then case uh, map. Okay. Case empty, empty. I will do a cast on my map where I take from my first param parameter check if it is no new so map where map is required and finally I will one second let's know I will use this mapper here my reflection mapper I will use to return so to empty where I have the map and then below I will do a pretty similar stuff so I will create my empty entity where it is my params O then check the validation required not new entity entity is required to finally use the mapper mapper to map my entity so right now as you can see I did my invocation handler here. My invocation handler will, as I said, handle my methods here, my methods with parameters. Once I did it, the next step is to create my proxy class. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I will, once it's a simple, really simple case, I will create my static method here my repository where it will return proxy new proxy uh, proxy instance so new proxy instance where I need to return a class loader so my repository class class loader then the interface that I will handle on this case I will handle only my mapper repository and finally my implementation so new mapper invocation handler and that is it right now I do have my proxy so let's return it will request you to do a cast. Let's create the, the class test right now. Oops, action, come on, create test. That is it. So I have my member repository. Just because I don't remember, I don't remember a good name for it. Probably for it set up where I will set up my repository every single time before it it's okay if you want to do something like this both ways are fine so and then let's create this, the test okay to make my life easier I will take one from one that I already have. So I will come here to my mapper test where I have both to map and to empty. 
uh, we'll use the power of of base here, of course, and then repository map repository empty, and then I will execute, and that is it. Hopefully, it will work. Yes, it's, it is working. So, again, I have my interface. I have my invocation handler to handle uh, my proxy class. So, I have my proxy here, proxy, the methods that it, it is executing the params. On base on that, I get just the name. So, if it is empty, I will execute the joint if it is map the map as you can see for example if I handle with a spring or something like that I might check the method name and then do uh, a query on that that is for today hopefully you enjoy and see you soon bye bye